Huh? Sissy dog. Sissy dog. Sissy dog. Arr, arr, arr. Big pig, big pig. Woo, baby. You guys see that? Good morning, everybody. Chad, Adder Farms. Yeah, buddy. It is a brisk. Oh, goodness. Hang on. Look at that. 37 degrees 37 degrees Wilma 37 what that means is ugh, there we go ready huh what's the matter what's the matter today you all right there you go what's the matter you okay I know what the problem is Let's see if I can show you guys See the, see the two trucks? My dad took off work just because it's Friday and he had some time. And he's got Adler up at the house eating breakfast. So, a couple things. If you don't think pigs are intelligent, you're kidding yourself. She can see grandpa's truck. And she's wondering why it's not grandpa, it's me. Cause we're very rarely here at the exact same time. And that's just too funny. So, but grandpa will be down here later with your marshmallows. That okay? She's like, whatever, man, go up there and give me some marshmallows. What do you say, boys? What do you say, 4-4? Four -four? Huh? What do you say, buddy? Here they come. Come on, hip hip. You guys are silly. Come on, shrimp. Four two, looking menacing there, brother. Man, you guys are good looking. Mm. Oh, excuse you, lady. Shrimp, are they eating your food, man? The other part of that equation, I got, I got quite the audience here. The other part of that equation is, where is Adler? Well, it's 37 degrees. Adler's in the house, hanging out with Grandpa. I already gave you food, Nancy. It's over there. I don't carry marshmallows. Anyway, so that's where Adler is. That's gonna kinda be the norm, I'm sorry, but that's what I gotta do. So, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Let's go check some lines. Make sure these boys ain't knock nothing down. And I do think the other day that, see there's, that's down right there. Whoop. I do think that the reason the lines were down the other day is I believe a deer hit it. And uh, I think that'll continue to happen for a little bit, but that's all right. They're all getting along. They're happy. They're hanging out together. They share grass, but they don't share cubes or cake or anything, whatever you want to call it. So if shrimp finds something, the other boys have to investigate it. But let's go check some lines. So I learned it. I learned something the other day. By the way, I've been talking with my boy Lester down at I'm a Survivor Sanctuary, Lester and Jamie and family. I think I may need to I think I may need to get to know them a little bit better. So if you guys don't know who they are. Go check them out, okay? I learned something the other day about Lester because I was watching him on Facebook. And he is a fellow croc wearer. And he wears the ones with the fur in them because, I don't know, that's nasty, man. I don't know. That one, that one had me worried about you a little bit, but to each their own. But you know what I know about crocs is whatever they're made out of. I don't know, rubber, PVC, I don't know, whatever they got. But anyway... 
when you're moving these hot lines and your chargers way over there and you don't want to touch this fence because trust me you don't want to touch it you use your crock to put that line back in there see that's some real hillbilly ingenuity there then we're going to turn this so that line don't come out there we go it's still sagging a little bit but that's okay there's a lot of guys that run this like my buddy ben down at vw family farms there's a lot of guys that use this for like lanes for moving and they only use one strand so i'm using two just because i've got it why not but you know you can actually make one wire hot and not the other one that's real easy to do too These are some of the deadfalls that we'll have to watch out for. Not so worried about them falling on me, or anybody for that matter, but more focused on, yeah, something's down or whatever. More focused on them not falling on the string, on the wire. Yeah, we've, we've definitely got some deer issues. Because this one's almost down completely. Here, hang on. Silly deer. That's why you should hunt. See, if we had more hunters in the world, all you people that are anti-hunters, my lines wouldn't come down. But this will be a daily thing. And whether you use hot wire or barbed wire or whatever, you gotta check your fence lines every other day probably. At least I do. I don't know, if you've got enough confidence in your fence, to each their own, but I don't trust my beefy boys, so I'm gonna be checking my lines. It really is 37 degrees. Woo, look at that, it might be getting colder. So mom and dad live right over there, as you guys know. And where I live, about 25 miles away, I'm actually like, well, I'm in the hills. I mean, I'm a higher elevation, but mom and dad live in this kind of real hilly holler. Like this eight acres, I don't think you could put another hill in this eight acres. It is so wavy, it's beautiful but it's wavy. But what that means is the sun doesn't hit everywhere at first. Like it's gotta be almost 9 a.m. before it actually warms up. So there's a lot of shadows. So it truly is. You guys see that? It truly is 37 degrees. And I'm wearing shorts, Crocs, and no gloves. Easy boy. Alright, that should work for a little bit. I gotta sit you guys down for this one, hang on. All right, that's pretty good right there. Hey, we're rolling. Let's go. I think we got them all. 
And isn't that pretty? All right, let's go turn the fence back on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you guys in my little pocket here, though, so that way I can put my hands in there and switch. I should have brought gloves. Did you guys think that uh, Wilma was the only one that had some wheels? Princess Leia runs the lines too. We're safe, pig, pig. We're safe, pig, pig. Look at this. Just bodies are out. That's too funny. Let me get him another scoop. Here you go, Leia. Here you go. Morning, old man. What are you thinking? <laughs> You've been down a while. You're waddling. You've been down a while. Good nap, huh? Ooh, good nap. Good nap. Yeah. Man, we might actually have to change his name to Gizmo. Those ears get any bigger. <laughs> Smoky, what you think, lady? What you think, lady? Want you treat? Hi. What you think, lady? What you think, huh? What you think? Rah. Rah. Go. Oh, it's go time. Oh, we're putting the wheels down. Woo, baby. Look out. Look out now. Nyeom. Nyeom. You're silly. You're silly. Hurrah. Hurrah. You're silly. You're silly. We hear you. We hear you. We hear you. Look out. Look out. Go. Go. She whiz. Here she comes. Here she comes. Look out. Oh boy. She may hit me. She may. Okay. That was the last second turn there, Nancy. Look out. All right. Ah, let me feed your goats. Let me feed your goats. No, you go stand in line with the boys. Go stand by the boys. No, 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 no freebie stuff. We say, there you go. There you go. All right, watch out. There's a ton of room here. If you guys will, oh, if you guys will leave your platform where it's at, man, Batman, you're getting huge, dude. Goodness. Can I say hi? Can I say hi? Yeah. P Dub, what you think, buddy? What you think, buddy? Boop. He still whizzes on his face, don't he? Let's feed everybody and get them quiet. Then I need to talk to you guys about red and what's going to happen. Some of y'all ain't gonna like it. Hey, looks like Grandpa got y'all some pumpkins. That's pretty cool. Man, y'all are getting big. You're so patient. Let's see. Woo, baby. Goodness. We'll give Smokey one of these. We'll leave those for Grandpa. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. That's a warm one. Want a warm egg? Woo, baby. Smoke. 
That's a good one, huh? Is that a good one? Yeah. All right, Red. Let's talk a minute. I make a mean turkey. I make a real mean bird. I actually put bacon on mine. Like, you know, some people use tin foil to keep it from getting too, like losing moisture and helping it brown. I cover my turkeys. When I bake a turkey, I cover it in bacon. So, trust me, I could absolutely handle it. However, we did, we did hatch red out. She's my last red bourbon that we hatched out. Her and her original Tom, which was also a red bourbon, were sitting right there. They were roosting right there at night. And it was before Smokey was big enough to handle predators. And we actually had an owl take her Tom. She's always kind of had issues with Toms. And of course we had Mr. T, which was our black Spanish. And he was a turd. The T was not for turd, but it became for turd. So she's been real unlucky. I don't believe in luck, but she's been real unlucky in love. And I just feel like she deserves a little bit more than the dinner table. She's only, we hatched her out in July of last year. I got to figure something out. So if you guys know anybody that might want that red bourbon, I think if she was just at the right sanctuary, she might be okay. I don't know. You guys let me know. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. What's up, ladies? Gentlemen, how's it going, buddy? Man, you are huge, dude. Let's see what's going on up here. We got a lot of scratch, a lot of feet on the ground, so I'm not too worried about that. And this guy right here, he still hasn't crowed. Still hasn't crowed. Is that a guy or a girl? One of them him, hers? What's going on there? You got any eggs, lady? Can I see? Can I see? Ow, 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 thank you. Okay, you can get back in there, I'm sorry. You were supposed to lay a green egg though, and you don't. I got gypped. Anyway, yeah. So there's that. Oh, we, get, we do have one more black Spanish down there. So, Smokey, come here. Come talk with me. Come talk with me, come here. Come here. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. What you think, lady? It's so quiet down here when everybody gets food. Did you notice? It's quiet. See, it's quiet. So, oh, oh, big hugs. Big hugs for Smokey. Everybody thinks that I don't like hug you and give you attention, but we do this a lot, don't we? Yeah, we do. If we didn't do this a lot, you'd be all over me right now, just in my face and licking and slobbering but we do this a lot so you know now listen 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 <gasps> we do this a lot that's how you know to that's how you know to just be kind and take your gentle pettings not bite not get ferocious okay 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 hey one of your weird goat brothers is behind you. Yeah. Hi, Smokey. That's my forearm. She don't like this. Watch. <laughs> You're a good dog. It's a good dog. You are a huge Nancy. Nancy, hey, now listen. Listen, this has been pooped on and peed on by weird goats that pee on their faces. And here we are. Hey, what would you do if I put a GoPro on you for a day? What would you show to people? If we had like a smoky channel, a smoky view, what would we do? Would you like take them around the farm, show them how you bark at birds, airplanes, spiders, squirrels? Huh? Sissy dog. Sissy dog. Sissy dog. Arr, arr, arr. Everybody's happy. Happy, happy, happy. Yes, I know. That's Phil Robertson. I love that family. I've met a couple of them. Read their books. That's how I live my life. I can't help it at this point. I've been through a lot. Life's way too short to sweat little things. When you see me get frustrated about the fence being down or the goats 
being goats. It's creativity. It's humor. I'm here to make you guys laugh. And I sincerely appreciate as of this morning. Forty thousand of you want to watch this little farm that I lease from a very kind gentleman named Mr. Charlie who lives right through those woods and a family, Mr. G, but Mr. G and his family and his siblings that own this land over here that let me, that let me lease it. I'm very, very grateful. I've been way up in life and I've been way down. I just, I can't, I can't believe what this even looks like. I can't believe what's even here. I can't, I, I you know, just beyond imagination. I, I know some of you live vicariously through us. You live your farm life through us because you're either in a position or a place where you can't have animals or you're just beyond taking care of them because it's 37 degrees outside. And that's okay. I appreciate you letting myself and my dad and now my brother and sister-in-law, I appreciate you letting us be that fix for you. I know many of you have mentioned that uh, you're not around your grandkids as much as you'd like to be. They either live out of state or due to health issues, you need to be real careful right now, that kind of thing. And I totally get it. I appreciate you letting us, my boys and I and my family, be that for you. And one thing I want you to remember as we get bigger and we gain more followers, whether it's here or Facebook, because it's growing like crazy too. One thing I want you guys to always know about myself, Chad, I just want to be me. I just want to be us. About a year ago, before Smokey was big enough, we were losing chickens to raccoons like crazy, and I didn't know what I was going to do. Now, I have since become an eliminator of all things predators, if need be. I learned real quick. I'd lived in the city with my chickens, city-ish. I'd lived in the city, like a subdivision essentially, with my chickens for four or five years before we ever had a farm, before we ever had YouTube. I never had to worry about predators, not even aerial predators, nothing. No cats, no dogs, raccoons, nothing. We got the farm and I started losing chickens right and left. So I went to the big box and I got myself some foothold traps and I set them up and I used rebar or like form stakes to hold them in the ground. It didn't take one night for something to bend those rebar stakes and take those foothold traps up out of the ground. You stake the trap down so when the raccoon reaches in there for whatever the bait is, he can't get away. Don't get on to me about the trapping. Don't even go there. I ain't gonna respond to it. That stake was getting bent. And I mean bent violently, a piece of rebar. I mean, it wasn't like inch rebar. It was like, I don't know, less than half inch. It wasn't, it wasn't much, but something was bending him. I reached out to Daniel via Instagram. I sent him a little video message and showed him what I was up against. And I said, man, I know you don't know me from anywhere. I think I had like 900 subs on YouTube at the time. And somehow he saw that message and he responded and he said, no, man, those are raccoons. I said, no, no. I Tell me I got like a puma or a panther. You know, there's, there's no way a raccoon is doing this. He's like, I hate to tell you, that's a raccoon. No, Mr. Arms, I have a liger. I have a puma on my property. He was like, no, no, trust me, it's just a raccoon. So I set up a trail cam, lo and behold, a couple days later, I got, a couple days later, I got four raccoons sitting around a trap, playing with it like toddlers, letting each other out, sticking their finger in it, see who can be quicker to get away. Here's what I remember. I thank Mr. Arms for his time. I thank Daniel for his time. I had the privilege of talking to him the other day for about two hours. Whether he knew that we were gonna talk for two hours or not, I don't know, but we did. And I've met him before, but it was in a public setting, didn't have much time to pick his brain. I thanked him for his time after helping me with those raccoons and getting the right equipment. I said, man, I just love your channel, I love your family, I love all of it. And he said, hey, we just try to be us. So the other day I shared that story with him and he thought, he remembered the guy messaged him about the raccoons, but he didn't know it was us. It'd been a year, over a year. You remember what you told me when I said, hey, I appreciate you sharing the videos and your, your message and your life and all that. And he said, oh, kind of. I said, I, I, you told me, you told me, thank you. We just try to be us. So for a guy at that time, I think Daniel may have had half a million, 400,000, I don't know, but a year ago, whatever that mark would have been. He had more followers on Instagram than he could even keep up with messages, but he found ours and he helped me without knowing me from anywhere. And I knew at that time, as we grew, that we hit 10,000, 20,000, 40,000, 100, whatever, 
I want to look back and I want people to be able to say, yeah, the Mather boys, yeah, those Adler Farms boys, that's just them. Anybody want a chicken? That's what I want people to say about us. I want them to just say, man, I've met those guys and they're just them. Just, they're just them. That's just what they do. And, you know, as we grow and as we get bigger and the people you see us hang out with, just know that it's for me and my channel and me and my friends. I'm not making connections. I'm making friendships. I don't even really meet people. I don't think there's anybody I've met and filmed the day we met. I always want to establish a friendship with them, get to know them. So when you see them on my channel, anybody, know that they're just them. They're just being them. They're just us, okay? And we can all kind of pass that down from, from Daniel and, and all that stuff. And Anyway, that's enough for getting sentimental and she needs to lay an egg, so I got to quit talking. But let's go check on Grandpa and Adler. By the way, you know I mentioned getting a side-by-side. Uh, -side. Dude, them things are expensive, man. Oh, I didn't have no. I was driving my truck through the field. It's called yellow orange. Yellow orange. Gray. Gray. That's correct. That's gray. Working my flash on that? Yep. We're doing the What you doing, man? Looking for monsters? I've been monster hunting. Oh, do I need to turn that off? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. I've been hunting for monsters with the flashlight. Hey, you want to play a little bit? Mm -hmm. Can you smack the camera for me? Right there. Hit it hard. I love that. Aren't you glad Grandpa does the chores on the weekends? <laughs> there it is. Look at that. Whoa. Bison? Grand bison. Bison. Yep. So I've given a couple of clues in this video as to where I'm going in the next couple of days. You think, you think anybody can figure it out from that? No. Okay. Yeah. Good. We don't want to go away. Maybe we need one. Oh, no. We need our own red dog. We do. School going okay? Mm-hmm. It's your favorite thing ever? Nope. Pretty girls though? Eh. They may watch this. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yep. Hey guys, we sincerely appreciate you watching. Uh, we just got our butcher box delivery. As you guys know, we work with them. So our link's down below if you want to order anything. Right now there's like free turkey, uh, grass-fed turkey. So check it out. Um, this video is not directly sponsored by them, but I love Butcher Box. It's pretty amazing. He likes the dry ice they send. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all be good. Don't work too hard. Don't make it weird. God bless. God bless. Deuces. Deuces. Deuces.